the power struggle between the United States and China has been heating up, but not just over tariffs and export controls. The two are duking it out for dominance in the fast-moving world of artificial intelligence. NHK Deputy Chief Commentator Ida Kaori has been tracking this and exploring where Japan fits in between these giants. She's here to tell us what she's learned. So, Kaori, yes. it feels like every day there's this another headline about AI push. Uh, it's hard to keep up. So where do things stand right now? Well, in short, the U.S. is leading on several fronts while China is racing to catch up. Let's take a look at one of the major measurements, the money going into all of this. This graph shows private sector investments in AI. The gap is striking. U.S. companies have poured in over 11 times more than China and a whopping 117 times more than Japan. But again, China is catching up. It's pushing hard on technology development and rapid social implementation. Mm. And now on development, there are you know, more and more players in the field these days. Uh, whose AI models lead the pack? Um, up until recently, it was one of the most well-known models, OpenAI's ChatGPT. It's been overtaken by Google's most advanced AI model, now ranked at the top of the Global Intelligence Index. But if you can take a look at fifth place, number five, it's by Chinese startup Moonshot AI, which is backed by Alibaba. The model ranks just behind Google, Anthropic, and OpenAI. What's remarkable is that it's open source and developed at a fraction of the cost compared to the billion spent by U.S. rivals. Mm. So that chart shows you know, that most of the top players are U.S. or China-based. Uh, who are the end users going with? Mm, um, that's a very good question. Mm. Um, many companies in Tokyo tell me they mostly use U.S. models. Um, Japan is emerging as an attractive market. Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group recently partnered with OpenAI, declaring it will reinvent itself as AI native. OpenAI says Japan is now the second largest market after the U.S. for enterprise AI adoption. We aim to continue to provide safe and responsible AI services and products to bring sustainable growth to Japanese society and industries. In October, OpenAI's biggest rival, Anthropic, opened its first Asian office in Tokyo. Its CEO shared his excitement in an interview with us. We see Japan as a really great place uh, to do business. We focus more on working with businesses and less on the consumer side. And so our view of this is that there's really an opportunity to create economic value with Japanese businesses. That said, business here, business here in Tokyo also tell me that Chinese models are starting to gain traction. One of them is run by Alibaba. The company tells me the model, it's spelled Q-W-E-N, but it's pronounced Quen or Q Wen. Hmm. Okay, so how are Japanese companies performing in the AI race? Japan has long been considered a tough environment for startups, hmm. but it's now seeing rapid growth. The star standout example is Sakana AI. It recently raised 20 billion yen in funding from Japanese investors, along with overseas investors, including the Santander Group of Spain. That pushed its valuation to 400 billion yen, about $2.6 billion, which the company says is the largest ever for a startup in Japan. Okay. So beyond the private sector, what are governments doing? Yes. Um, Japan, the U.S., and China are taking different approaches. Let's start with the U.S. In July, it released its AI action plan, which is structured around three pillars accelerate AI innovation, build American AI infrastructure, and lead in international AI diplomacy and security. From this day forward, it'll be a policy of the United States to do whatever it takes to lead the world in artificial intelligence. China responded in August with its own AI Plus initiative. 
It's a three-phase roadmap to deeply integrate AI into society and the economy by 2035. And as for Japan, the government admits it's lagging behind. You can see the AI usage rate by companies at 55.2%, and for individuals, it's 26.7% for Japan, much lower compared, to, compared with the U.S. and China. Mm. The government says it plans to announce by the end of this month a basic AI strategy to tackle low adoption and limited investment relative to its economic scale. Hmm. Well, for now, it seems uh, this is largely a two-way race. And any idea on who, who will come out on top? Hmm. Um, that's the billion-dollar question, I would <laughs> say. And here's what a couple of major players in tech recently had to say. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huan told the Financial Times, quote, China is going to win the AI race. And former Google CEO Eric Schmidt said, the vast majority of governments and countries will end up standardizing on Chinese models, not because they're better, but because they're free. And I think that's a very important point. Mm. Money could be the deciding factor. And for countries like Japan, the challenge is, is to balance the appeal of cost and convenience with the need to safeguard data protection and national security. And as for the U.S. and China, it appears that tensions over this will escalate. In fact, some experts are now calling this the AI Cold War. Mm.